you know what I'm getting blown up right now about, which is interesting. Mm. Um, a lot of people are saying, you know, why isn't Ari Gold making an appearance on Ballers? And you know what's, oh, you know, yeah. and, oh, yeah. and you know what's, yeah. you know, it's so interesting. We have so much content out there, yeah. and it's so hard to break through. And the audience is mm -hmm. so incredibly smart. And they're going, wait a minute, that makes sense. It does. Because the character's based on Ari Emanuel yeah. Yeah. that now is into sports management. He and a team of people bought the UFC. It's legit. Anyone could, they go, oh my God, yeah, that makes all the sense in the world. He could come in and be an adversary yeah. to yeah. The Rock, you know, tomorrow. So it's very, and Ballers is in its last season. Yeah. Um, from the same guys that, that brought you Entourage. Mm -hmm. And of course, The Rock is... Mm -hmm. Uh, a huge international star. Of course. And, you know, uh, it's it's winding down. And so, you know, it's just really interesting because I hadn't thought about it. I'm, you know, been like... I think that'd be cool. It'd that'd be, be awesome. interesting, really, right? Yeah. Because, yeah. 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 I mean, I, I know, like, uh, once you've had a really big role, you hear actors talk about this a lot. Like, once people know that you're George from Seinfeld or, right. you know, you're Ari from totally. Entourage, people expect you to be that guy. Or they, they they see you that way, even in real life, if you're sitting there right <laughs> in front of them. Yeah. They have this expectation. So there seems to be like a tendency that yeah. people want to, in a way, run away from that big role and yeah. distance themselves by doing something completely different. Or once, like, you know, Entourage is now over. Yeah. So they don't, you know, not wanting to go back and revisit that. Well, it's interesting because we're also, we're also living in a time where, People, uh, technology is moving at the speed of light. They have so many choices. And what are people watching? They're watching Friends. Yeah. They, did yeah, the totally. they're at, yeah. they did the analytics. And it's like, wait a minute, they need that comfort food. So I know that people miss Entourage and they miss the, you know, that, mm -hmm. that, that vibe and the feeling. Dude, your character it, was the best yeah. part of Entourage. It, it was, thank you. It was, it was, it was a black. You, turtle, drama. That's it. <laughs> Vinny was the one they could have done without. They didn't even need Vinny <laughs> Chase. Well, I, you know, it, we're living in, it was his show. We're living in times that are, you know, uh, Floyd. incredibly politically correct. And I mm -hmm. think, you know, th that was that was a time kind of just before social media. Yeah. And you had, you know, my character was an equal opportunity mm -hmm. offender, right? Mm -hmm. So um, he, that character, we all know a guy like that. Yeah. And, I love that guy. Yeah. Right, way. right. And, you know, he was monogamous and, and yeah. loved loved Mrs. Ari and had a big heart <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. and had Vinny's back. So you had all these things where he was ultimately a guy. Like that, I wanted him on my team. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So we miss him. And yet there are guys that come up to me on the street and they go, bro, I'm a douchebag because of you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because of you. And I'm going, bro, you, you are the... The grand wizard of the douchebag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are. I, I don't know if you need me. Did yeah. you really need? Why are you pinning that on me? Yeah. And yeah. I and I, I t in my act, I I talk about the fact that that you know people are the, you know listen. I've been in people's living rooms you know for a long time, so y they get used to seeing you in a certain way, yeah. and they don't know that that I'm a stage actor from Chicago. And that, you know, they might journey or probably don't care, which is fine. But and then they'll follow me in malls and ask me to yell at their buddy who was at work on right. FaceTime yeah. and yeah. scream at him that, yeah. you know, and yeah. I'm like, bro, I can't, yeah. I can't yeah. scream. I, you're strangers to me. If yeah. I went around screaming into everyone's cell phone, it wouldn't end well. No, yeah. you'd no. get arrested. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, one yeah. of my favorite clips, though, because every once in a while when a listener just gets too aggressive and like there's clearly no... Uh, saving them, they're just they've yeah. decided that they're just going to be upset with us, and they want to tell us how they're not going to listen anymore. I cut them off. I go, look, it's like a relationship. This isn't going to work out. And this is one of my favorite clips to play at listeners who we are firing. You're fired. <laughs> and in case your ears are, f <laughs> get the f out. Love it. Yes. <laughs> like, I love it. That's you know, a, it's such yeah. a great character, man. Yeah, it was it was incredibly cathartic to to play that guy because you basically you know the irony is. That we talk. We're gonna get into some psycholo psychological warfare right now, and I apologize. But that character at times was kind of all of us working on our lowest vibration because when we're when we're incredibly reactive, slaves to our egos and whatnot, we get very angry, yeah. Yeah. short tempered, all that stuff. So I had to kind of channel that energy for 12, 14 hours a day. <laughs> yeah, and unknown to me. It, it's exhausting. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Imagine having a temper tantrum, you know, for yeah. 14 hours. Oh, yeah. 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 Imagine it, right? Sweat. Yeah. Imagine. I think I could do it. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you say that now. Yeah. You say that now, yeah. but you, you just, afterwards, you just crawl into bed. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I never took a dive. I always, you know, gave it everything I yeah. had. And how, it was a blast. how close to the version of Ari uh, on Entourage that we saw is, is that to the real guy, Ari Emanuel? You know, I, I don't, it's not my place to, you know, to obviously talk about Ari Emanuel and he is 
you know, arguably one of one of the best agents slash businessmen in the game. He's just ridiculously uh, prolific, and he keeps reinventing the game. So you know, he is a guy who is, uh, and and by the way, he's evolved like everyone else. But there was a time I think when you know he was pretty identical to that character, and maybe yeah. even a little bit more. Cool. Just, 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 yeah, I think it's but cool. He's yeah, way cool. Evolved. That's kind of a bummer. He's evolved. Yeah, yeah. yeah don't evolve. Yeah, I, 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 you know, I, I did steal a couple of his his lines in real life and, yeah. and, put, and put it onto the show. And you know, he's one of these guys who, in, in a time when everyone's kind of hiding, and and desperate for people to like them and for the world to to you know to be on their their everyone's trying to be on the right team and the right side. The, the you know. Um, he was a guy that was in, incredibly authentic to who he was. Yeah. And, um, and, and if it offended people, fine, but he was a hard worker and he's going to get it done no matter what. And, um, you know, we don't have a lot of that anymore. Yeah. There's, there's very little authenticity. Mm-hmm. People like to throw around that word a lot. Uh, but how many people are truly their true selves, like yeah. truly authentic? I, I think well, it's very hard to find. Yeah. Well, that's because people are worried about getting labeled this. Well, there's a level right. of fear. A lot of isms yeah. out there. Absolutely. And that's what's so great about stand up, as you guys know, is I'm out there doing an hour set, you know, letting it all hang out, letting the audience see who I am. Mm-hmm. You don't um, really take your penis out, though, right? Um, like, <laughs> no, it's it. not all hanging out. <laughs> No, no, no. Yeah, no. okay. That's what I clarify. No, okay, but you're not taking um, the penis out. No, the you know, uh, art is metaphors, and you went right. literally, and that happens. Yeah. No, I get it. Yeah, I, I get I, it. I'm listening. Yes, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> indeed. <laughs> um, yeah, but that's but that selfishly, that's one of the many great things about stand up. It's like, oh, okay, you, you know, you thought you think I'm Ari Gold, and maybe that's what brought you here tonight. I'm a stage actor from mm-hmm. Chicago. I studied with my mother, who was my acting teacher from the time I was eight years old. Mm-hmm. I would run lines. Uh, and at one point during my set, I said I would do lines with my mom. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. 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 Not, you mean like that's, Coke. That, yeah, yeah, that's a little yeah, awkward. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. you don't want to do lines right. with your mom. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, you know, everything that I said is Ari Gold. I said to my mom's face because we would run lines together. And that's, you know, for people to wrap their minds around that, you know, I'm, you know, so I'm a different person than who they think. And if I can make mm-hmm. them laugh for an hour. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and they can get a sense of who I am and I can take them on this journey. Then then that's kind of a ama- you asked me why I did it. That's amazing. Yeah. Because while we were doing Entourage, I'm, you know, whispering in Doug Ellen's ear, you know, just different options or whatnot. And he wrote this thing brilliantly. So I'm trying to contribute. And this is an arena where it's all on you. Yeah. So be yeah. careful what you wish for because yeah. you're writing yeah. your yeah. entire yeah. set. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's really daunting and you're jumping out without that parachute and I'm t- I'm filled with tons of bad cliched analogies by the way um and you know you gotta you you gotta make it happen and you gotta crush and i love it did you buy your mom a house or like a car or anything big because i mean she helped you run all those lines i think that would be the most difficult part of doing like when it comes to acting what rehearsing remembering all the lines oh that would be so hard i think that would almost be the hardest part yeah uh, well listen Mm -hmm. you you've got to attack you know anyone it's funny Mm -hmm. you just got to what 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 really it comes down to because for me, if if I don't own those lines and if I'm not totally present during the scene, then there's no way you can do your best work. Right. If you're mm-hmm. reaching for that line, so everyone's different. You know, I I work with Ellen DeGeneres on on her sitcom, and she has. A I photo- loved that show. She has a photographic mm-hmm. memory. Uh-huh. I mean, I I, I oh, it's like a superpower. I uh-huh. wish I had yeah. that. She could just look at a script and boom, she's got it. Yeah. And Meanwhile, I, there's other people like myself. Oh, you can meet somebody yeah. two seconds later. That's What's it, your name? Uh, yeah. And it's not because you don't care. <laughs> yeah. It's just like right. I don't know what it is. Like you're like a goldfish. Yeah. Right. I mean, every, remember. Yeah, but then you're great off the cuff, and that's your thing. So you can't have it all. Yeah. I mean, I guess some people can. No, I know what you're saying. Like, we you know, this show, we prepare a lot for the show. Like, we know what we are going to do every segment of the show. But then what happens within the confines of that segment, we're prepared. Like, we know what we want to do, the point of why we want to do it. And so that allows you just to sit there and really just yeah. get into the material. And that's what you're saying. Like, if you already yeah. know the lines, like, that's super important because then you can really concentrate on how you want to bring that to life. Yeah, and that it's the same thing See, with- I know acting, Ravy. Yeah, there you go, right yeah. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, you, you a superstar. You're yeah. the male- the People say they study it. Like, yeah. Please. Yeah. yeah. You would be great at- <laughs> If I didn't look like this, I'd be an amazing- You could be <laughs> guy <laughs> at diner. Yeah, right. come on. You would nail it. Yeah. I know. 